What is up? Gear Squad, Shane Gear here, bringing the video, and it's been a long time. Uh, I haven't done a video like this in a while. I haven't made a video in a while. I have been pretty busy. Uh, I'm at work. Uh, that takes up the vast majority of my time, a nine to five, uh, Monday through Friday for the most part. And, um, if I'm not doing that, I'm, I'm usually hanging out with my friends. Uh, and my friends, you know, are, are either, you know, friends that I made while, uh, you know, I started my new job. I've been at my new job for a year now. I can't even say it's really a new job. I've literally been in it for a year. So that's been awesome. Um, but also, uh, I have friends online. I play a lot of Destiny 2. Uh, I play a little bit of other games as well. I mostly play Destiny 2, though. I play uh, with my clan, Obsidian Gears. Shout out. Um, uh, the two folks that helped me run it, Mexican Synth uh, and Empowered Fire. Huge shout out to them. They helped me run the whole thing um, with, a, with a pretty large clan now. It's pretty large. So, um, yeah, just been busy hanging out with my friends. Uh, and, and going to work, um, working out, trying my best to eat healthy and all that stuff. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's very hard, um, to just kind of manage all of this stuff and try and play other games too. So I play a little bit of Paladins, a little bit of Borderlands 3. Sometimes I jump into like an old online game I might've tried a while back, like Trove, um, or, uh, Honestly, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I've been running tournaments for BCL and CVL as well. Um, I really don't do that much. I really don't play that many games or anything like that. So it's been um, it's been a lot. So I wanted to make a video for you guys just saying what's up. And honestly, I wanted to talk about something because I got emotional about it. You guys kind of know me, you know, when when we're going to, when, you know, when things happen in the video game industry, I have a hard time not talking about it. If you guys are on the Discord, you know this. I'm always posting things about what's going on in the video game industry. And a big thing that's been going on, if, if you haven't, if you didn't know, um, is uh, there's some issues with, uh, I, guess, I guess, a lot of people say that it's about free speech. It's about Blizzard. Uh, and if you guys know Blizzard, they're the creators of uh, World of Warcraft. They're the creators of Overwatch. Uh, they are the creators of uh, Hearthstone, um, Starcraft, you know, many, many, many different games. Uh, Diablo, Diablo, it's another big game. Um, Blizzard is, uh, they basically, I mean, a long story short, there's been a lot of drama. They have a game called Hearthstone. It's a digital card game, very popular. I think they're kind of the original digital card game. Granted, I guess Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon had digital card games before Hearthstone, but they're the ones that made it huge. I could be saying that wrong. It might be Hearthstone. Hearthstone, Hearthstone. Either way, um, basically one of their uh, esports players, esports athletes, they played a game, um, won, I believe it was a tournament, um, and this uh, player's name was Blitzchung. Blitzchung won, uh, won a ton of prize money, and uh, during the broadcast of this tournament, uh, the player said uh, free Hong Kong. He said a couple other things too, um, but he said free Hong Kong. If you don't know what's going on in Hong Kong, there's this huge, um, basically the political landscape is changing drastically because of the people. Some big things have been changing around. There, a big bill came up and they tried to pass it. It was about extraditing people um, to China. They didn't like it. There's a lot of stuff that's going on there. Um, but at the end of the day, Really, this whole thing about freeing Hong Kong is about having separation from China, allowing Hong Kong to be its own, you know, uh, entity and not having um, China kind of rule over it. Uh, that's basically what this is about. Uh, there's a lot of other things, a lot of other pieces. I'm not here to give you, uh, not only am I not here to give you a history lesson, I'm also not here to give you a political lesson. Um, look it up, Google it, watch people that you trust, watch people that you don't trust and learn about what's going on in the landscape. But... Basically, what happened was, um, and if you're from the United States, it should be fairly easy to understand, is that uh, this this person said free Hong Kong, and Blitzchung, the winner of this Hearthstone tournament, said free Hong Kong, and Blizzard, an American company, decided to say, you can't say that, and so we're now banning you for a year, and we're taking away all your prize money. Now, that's very uncomfortable for Americans, because... That would never happen in the United States, right? You would think that would never happen in the United States. You're like, well, that's free speech. What do you mean? You can't tell people, you know, to not say free Hong Kong. You know, if it doesn't hurt somebody, why is it a problem? If it's not uh, derogatory, why is it a problem, right? Um, if it's not hate speech, why is it a problem? And um, 
you know, basically what they were saying was that, well, it might offend some people in China. <laughs> and, and we don't want you to say anything that could possibly become an issue. And so they banned him. You know, they didn't say, hey, don't do that. They said, well, we're banning you. And we're taking away all your prize money. So, um, yeah, people weren't happy about it. I wasn't happy about it. I was like, oh, that's whack. I was like, well, I'm, you know, I'm not a big, I'm not playing a lot of any Blizzard games right now. I used to play Overwatch. Um, I played a ton of Diablo 3, loved that game, but I was like, well, I'm done. You know, I'm not playing Blizzard games anymore. I'm good. But what's hard to remember is that Blizzard is part of Activision Blizzard. Blizzard is not just Blizzard. It's Activision Blizzard. That's one company. Activision Blizzard is one company that has two branches, Activision and Blizzard, that make separate games. But when it comes to, you know, decisions and policies and stuff like that, it all comes from the top, Activision Blizzard. So I also had to say, oh, man, I guess I'm not buying Call of Duty either. Now, I'm not a huge Call of Duty fan either, so this wasn't huge. This wasn't a big deal for me, right? I mean, first of all, it's entertainment. So I'm not concerned about buying entertainment at the cost of my own uh, moral compass. Um, moral ground can be kind of, you know, gray a lot of the time. You know, people believe in different things. They have a hard time. But in this, I was like, well... I don't, it's not necessarily about freedom of speech in particular. It's more about um, what he stood for, what this person stood for, and that he got kicked out. Um, that, that to me didn't feel right. You know, if he had said something else that was derogatory, you know, if he had said the N-word, for example, and they wanted to take all his prize money and kick him out, I would have been cool with that. Why? Because that's derogatory towards, um, you know, a group of people and it's, you know, unnecessary. Free Hong Kong, that message, at least to me personally, this is personal, um, was a positive message about the freedom of a group of people. So, you know, if, you know, he, if he had said end women's suffrage or, you know, um, Black Lives Matter, you know, I would have been like, oh, okay. I also would have stood with this guy. So anyway, um, it's, it's a little crazy. It kind of, it rubbed me the wrong way. It made me kind of upset. So fast forward, we're now, it's BlizzCon. I don't know if you guys know this. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't even know when this video is going up. This could be late, could be early, I don't know. But BlizzCon happened, and um, or at least it's starting. I'm recording this on the Friday of BlizzCon. Uh, and BlizzCon is Blizzard's convention or conference, if you will, where they talk about all their new releases and stuff that's coming up. Because Blizzard's huge, right? Blizzard's huge. And it's just Blizzard, not Activision. It's just Blizzard, which again is owned by Activision Blizzard. But Blizzard, they're talking about um, you know all their new games. We're talking about Diablo 4, Overwatch 2, a new expansion to World of Warcraft, a new expansion to Hearthstone. Yikes. Four really huge announcements. Now, there might have been more announcements. I know they showed a trailer, or they have a trailer for um, the new Diablo mobile game. They didn't talk about it during the event, which is smart because everybody hated that. Um, but, uh, so some other things are probably going to be announced as well, but the big things, right? Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2. A lot of people are probably maybe hearing about Overwatch 2 for the first time right now. Like, wait, what? There's an Overwatch 2? Overwatch has been out for a minute now. And so Overwatch 2 is announced and there was a trailer. And like I said, I got a little emotional today and that's why I wanted to make this video. So I watched the Overwatch 2 trailer and I watched the cinematic one. So there's a couple, it's like eight minutes long and I watched it. After I watched the story thus far for Overwatch, um, so I watched the story thus far for Overwatch, one trailer, like three, four minutes. Then I watched the eight minute trailer for Overwatch 2. And I watch it, and for some reason, there's this part where, you know, I'm going to spoil the whole thing, but basically there's this part where all the Overwatch members or a large amount of Overwatch members come together to defeat this common enemy. And I looked at it and I was like, I, I got upset. For some reason, something in my head clicked and I, I literally shed a tear. I'm not kidding. I literally shed a tear. And I was like, why am I upset? And I realized the reason I was upset is that this game spoke to me. I loved the idea of Overwatch when it first came out. I loved it. I was like, oh my God, Overwatch is going to be my new thing. I love shooters. I'm not really great at Twitch shooters like, you know, for example, Call of Duty. I like games like Destiny, which has a longer time to kill. This game is like a strategy game, but with shooting, you know, first person mechanics. You know, I love that. So I was very excited for this game. Um, and so Overwatch 2, real talk, it got me excited again. It got me really excited again. But in my head, I was like, can you please... 
Blizzard, just give me a reason to buy this game. I want to buy this game. I just need you to tell me that, you know, you made a mistake. Now, luckily, when I say, you know, they made a mistake, I'm talking about the whole Blitz Chunk thing where they literally said, hey, we're banning you and taking away your prize money because you said free Hong Kong. So, you know, I'm like, man, that's really rough, right? Kind of upset. So there was a, apparently a letter that went out a couple weeks prior, a couple weeks prior, where they said, hey, listen, you know, we looked at what we did and we think it was a little harsh. So we're cutting the the date in half, you know, the ban, the amount of ban time in half to six months instead of 12 months. And we'll give back Blitz Chung's prize money. So they, they backpedaled. I was like, eh, I don't know. And then they basically, they also said in, within this, letter they were like yeah but you know we would do the whole thing again if if we had the chance we don't feel bad about what we did i was like all right well you know then we're still not okay basically you're saying everybody's mad at us so we'll we'll pull back a little bit but we still don't feel bad about what we did we would do it again so if somebody said free hong kong which they did multiple other teams for hearthstone and other games they said free hong kong and then they got banned crazy man it's crazy so, uh, during BlizzCon, the president of Blizzard, I believe, the president of Blizzard, he also came out and apologized. But he didn't really apologize. <laughs> he gave this, like, you know, excuse me, half-assed apology that was basically all, you know, he was like, you know, we failed. We made a mistake. And we're sorry. And we didn't do what we're supposed to do, which is bring people together. I'll take responsibility, and I hope you all feel better. Thanks a lot. Like, that's what he said. He didn't say Blitzchung. He didn't say Hong Kong. He didn't say China. He didn't say reverse the ban. You know, he didn't say anything. All he said was, like, we failed you guys, and that's all. You know, the, literally, a couple weeks before, they said, we, we, they had time to think about it. They said, no, we're not reversing. You know, we're, we're, we're just giving him some money back. You know, we get it. You know, we're going to cut his ban in half, but we would do the whole thing again. And now the president's coming out saying that he, he, you know, that he made a mistake. But I don't even know what the mistake is, guy. Why don't you just tell me? So disappointing. Um, a lot of Blizzard fans are happy because they want to like Blizzard. You know what I mean? And I don't blame them, dude. I don't blame anybody. Anybody that wants to play an Activision game, anybody that wants to play a Blizzard game, I don't blame you for finding things to make yourselves feel like it's okay to play these games. And look. If you bought Overwatch and you want to play it, you know, I wouldn't say you should play it, but if you want to play it and you're like, no one's going to tell me otherwise, then fine. Would I spend money on it? No. <laughs> if you bought Diablo already, you know what I'm saying, Diablo 3, and you want to play it, you, know, you own it. You're not giving them any money by playing the game. Would I tell you to stream it? No. Would I tell you to buy anything from it? No. Would I tell you to buy any new game? No, because you don't need to feed that machine, right? Activision Blizzard is now a company, as far as I'm concerned, that is against the idea that Hong Kong should be free. I'm not concerned about free speech necessarily, because a lot of people think free speech means also free hate speech. And I'm, you know, this is a private company. If they want to stop you from saying things like the N-word, for example, then I hope that they do. I hope that they, as a private company, believe that people shouldn't be running around saying the N-word, calling people terrible names. I just say the N-word because that's personal. But, you know, calling people the worst of things. I believe that people should be banned for saying bad things. I don't believe that Free Hong Kong is bad. That's why I have an issue. Why is Free Hong Kong bad? To me, sounds like a great thing. So I'm a little confused. So that's basically it. I got kind of sad. I'm sitting there. I literally, I teared up twice, guys. I teared up twice. I didn't cry, cry. All right, so don't flame me. I'm sitting here thinking, you know, I'm, I'm upset about this. I'm sad about this. I want to play Overwatch 2. They've got story modes. They've got, you know, your characters can level up and you can choose different abilities. It reminds me of Paladins. I love Paladins. So, yeah, man. I just, I guess I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about what's been on my mind recently. You know, I've, what's been on my mind. A lot of other things have been on my mind, too. Um, 
we don't need to go into it. If you guys are interested, I could do a whole vlog. I haven't done a vlog in a long time. We can do we could do a vlog. We could talk more about some of the other stuff I'm going through. We could maybe talk about some of the games I'm I'm excited to play. There's one game that I'm gonna play this year, and nothing's gonna stop me. And that is 100% Death Stranding. Very excited for the reviews are out. They're all over the place, which makes me even more excited about it. I haven't even watched the reviews. I just looked at the scores and I was like, yo, these scores are everywhere. I'm talking like three out of tens to 10 out of tens. I was like, bro, I got to play this game. So for me, that's one game I'm going to play no matter what. But other games, you know, I've they've, they've kind of taken the stand, the, the stand. They've kind of taken the back burner, if you will. I put them to the side. The stand aside. That's that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I told them to stand aside. I said, I got to play Destiny. That's my game. I get to hang out with my friends and stuff. So anyway, guys, long video. I'm sorry. I just needed to get this off my chest and talk to you guys about it. It's been a while since I've just talked to the camera. You know what I'm saying? It's been a while since I just sat here and spoke to the camera. Um, you know, nothing extra or anything like that. So... Thank you so much. If you guys are interested um, in anything else that I spoke about, let me know in the comment section below. If you disagree with me, that's okay too. I just want to let you guys know I'm not mad at anybody. You know, somebody the other day, I, I feel like I, I might have been a little rude to um, because I was upset that, you know, a lot of people don't know that Activision Blizzard is the same as Blizzard. A lot of people were like, yo, I'm never, I'm never buying a Blizzard game. And then they bought Call of Duty. And I was like, well... <laughs> There are also people who, you know, were like, I'm never buying a Blizzard game. And then they were on TikTok. And I don't know if you guys know, but TikTok also censors a lot of stuff around Hong Kong because they're a Chinese company. So, you know, I don't know. It's just it's, it's rough out there. It's rough out there right now. Sometimes people don't want to get into politics. And I'm not saying that you need to get into politics. I'm not saying that you need to learn every little thing about politics. But I think it's important to at least understand how you feel about specific things and why. And then when that comes up, question yourself. And make a decision. I'm not saying you have to make a decision right then and there. You can always say, man, I don't know yet. I got to think about this. But I think being able to take a stand on what you believe is important. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I hope this video meant something to somebody. Uh, I'll be online, of course. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>